सो हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू योर पीडिया एजुकेशन एंड योर पीडिया ग्लोबल सो दिस इज अवर वीकली न्यूज लेटर सीरीज अपडेट सो एज यू नो ऑन योर पीडिया एजुकेशन एवरी वीक वी कम हेयर विद अ क्यूरेटेड लिस्ट ऑफ द प्रेस्टिजियस पी एच डी पोजिशन सो विच आर दे आर राइट नाउ अवेलेबल विद द इंटरनेशनल यूनिवर्सिटी एट द ग्लोबल स्टेज राइट सो इफ यू आर लुकिंग फॉर वर्ल्ड टू ज्वाइन और टू स्टार्ट योर पी एच डी from usa from european countries then this is a list which you can look upon once if you believe any of the opportunity is aligning with your past mtech research exposure or your past project experiences or past work experiences they make your potential candidate for that particular position and you can visit the respective university and start finding in more detail about that position so i've told you many time if you are looking forward to join phd position across different countries in any of the discipline it's not only the process that you need to go on the university website and apply the application process no like this if you will do you will end up wasting a lot of money and will not get lots of admit from the different university the very first point is you need to configure which university research area is perfectly aligned as per your profile or as per your interest and then start communicating with the potential supervisor who are currently actively contributing into that research area so definitely once you will interact with them through professional email how to write the first email to the professor what all you need to include what all appropriate area you need to cover that all guidance will be provided by the mentors of your pedia and apart from that for european country sometime cover letter is being required then how to write the effective cover letter that is also there in the guidance module apart from that the very primary document is a very good cv sometimes some university ask you europass format but not all the university of european country but very few of them ask so you must be ready with two cv one normal cv which your pedia mentor share with you and they will guide you how to make a appropriate cv and other is the europass format cv and many cases you know some university ask you personal statement academic statement and statement of purpose or motivation letter or some university ask you to write the diversity essay so they are somewhere related to each other but there is still difference between them what are those difference that all guidance you will be getting under the guidance module of the your pedia education so let's move forward with the today's very first position so it's for the mechanical engineering phd with the university victoria university wellington new zealand the research area is superconducting bearings for high speed machines so guys duration is 3.5 year last date is 30th december 2023 it's a fully funded position and they have put some prerequisite have an engineering or science degree with minimum of 7 cgpa in the relevant research area next up guys we have for the mechanical engineering university name is nottingham trent university england the research area is greener hydrogen production from high moisture <coughs> containing biomass course duration is 3.5 year last date is 16 june 2023 yes it's a fully funded position and what all factors are there in the funding that all detail will be mentioned on the university website and prerequisite is applicants must have an engineering degree in mechanical engineering or relevant area with minimum of 7 cgpa next third opportunity we have for the mechanical engineering in lover university uk the research area is guys 3d printing next generation of batteries now the duration is 3.5 year last date is 14th of july 2023 yes it's a fully funded position you can mention the amount is mentioned here also they have put some prerequisite applicant should have qualified with or accept to obtain a bachelor degree in material science mechanical engineering with good understanding of additive manufacturing process see there are many student in the mechanical engineering they want to pursue their phd or ms in the domain of additive manufacturing if you are one of them then this is the area you can explore further <clears throat> next is for mechanical engineering university of southampton uk the research area is post processing of additively manufactured magnesium alloys guys duration is 3.5 year last date is 30th june 2023 yes it's a fully funded position and prerequisite is a very good undergraduate degree in the relevant area of research with minimum of 8 cgpa next up we have for the mechanical engineering it's in the university college of london the research area is optical imaging of corneal biomechanics and the duration is 3.5 year last date is 10th of july yes it's a fully funded position and their requirement is applicant must have a first class undergraduate degree with minimum of 
सेवन पॉइंट फाइव सी जी पी ए और सेवन सी जी पी एन रिक्वायरमेंट दे हैव पुट अकॉर्डिंगली यू नीड टू सी एंड चेक यूर ट्रांसक्रिप्ट वट एवर यू है बैचुलर एंड मास्टर इज सेवेंटी टू एटी परसेंट ऑफ द कोर्स वर्क टोटली अलाइनिंग विद द रिक्वायरमेंट और नॉट इफ यस देन यू कैन अप्लाई इवन फ्रॉम द अदर ब्रांचेज ऑल्सो Next up, we have for the civil engineering. The first opportunity is with the University of the Sheffield, UK. The research area is investigating the effect of soil conditions on pipeline infiltration using large-scale physical modeling. The duration is 3.5 year. Last date is 30th of the June. Yes, it's a fully funded position. They have put some prerequisite of first class engineering in civil engineering, with minimum of 8 CGPA and strong academic capability in the field of soil mechanics or similar. Next up, we have guys again in the civil engineering, University of Adelaide, South Australia. The research area is a casual framework for understanding natural hazards impacts. The duration is 3.5 year. Last date is application are accepted all year around. It means there is no perfect deadline. The early you apply, more will be the selection chances. Next, we have fully funded position, prerequisite of first class undergraduate degree with minimum of 8 CGPA in the relevant research area. IELTS score of 6.5 with minimum of 5.5 in each subsection. Next up, we have for the civil engineering. The university name is Liverpool University, England. The research area is local score mechanism of bridge piles under extreme flood pulse. So, guys, the course duration is 3.5 year. Last date is there is no perfect deadline. It's again on the rolling basis. As soon as they will find the suitable candidate, this position will be closed. and yes it's a fully funded position and there are some prerequisite candidate must have a first class degree in the civil engineering with minimum of 8 cgpa <laughs> next up we have for the civil engineering university name is university of birmingham england the research area is guys sustainable mitigation of wind blown sand in deserts duration is 3.5 year yes last date there is no particular last date for this as well as once they find the suitable candidate they will close the position If you believe you are looking forward to contribute in this position, then go ahead and explore the portal. Prerequisite: a first class undergraduate degree with minimum of 8 CGP in the relevant research area, IELTS score of 6.5 with minimum of 5.5 in the E subsection. Next up, we have for the civil engineering again. The college name is Imperial College of London. Proposed research area is composites, material, and structure. Duration again, guys, 3.5 year. again there is no last perfect date or particular date once they will find the suitable candidate they will close this position so if you believe this research area composite materials and structure is aligning with your past research exposure and you are looking forward to contribute and work for the phd in this research area then this is one of the ivy league college you can proceed ahead and explore the college detail for this now they have put some prerequisite a good under undergraduate degree in civil engineering with minimum of 8 cgpa and master level qualification in the relevant research area next position we have for computer science engineering it's in the university of sheffield uk the research area is advanced sensing and ai for risk detection in rail environments so again it's a artificial intelligence application based research area duration is 4 year last date is 30th of june yes it's a fully funded position amount clearly mentioned here and they have put some prerequisite a very good undergraduate degree with minimum of 7 cgp in the relevant research area when we have such kind of the position they at least expect you to have some prior exposure in the domain of the ai either you must be very comfortable with the subject of mathematics like linear algebra statistics numerical programming you must have hands on experience on the pythons better if you know data structure that is an added advantage if you have done some data visualization tool that in that is an add on advantage so guys like these kind of the skill will definitely help you and right now if you people have time there are various portal like coursera udemy etc from where you can basically learn these courses for free of cost and you can scale your knowledge basically you can upskill your level of these courses right and these kind of the certification courses will definitely create impact recently i am telling you one student was applying for one university and they have clearly asked in the description that you must have the knowledge of this software so that student obviously didn't write because he was not having the knowledge so professor told him at least you might have shown the willingness to learn the software that will be even good for us 
so there are very small small key points which you will get to know once you start interacting with a professor they will tell you good point fine that is in your favor they will tell you some very bad point also about your profile or they will tell you some destructive point which you need to take and take them as a constructive way because they will work as an input from those esteemed professor and on which you need to put some work you need to invest some time and accordingly you can improve and make your profile really good for the next coming positions so that's why guys i always tell try to interact with the professor as much as possible because whether they select you whether they reject you ask them the reason why they believe that your profile is not suitable for this position and start working according to their feedback definitely in one in two months in three months after the position you will be getting much better position even so that is the very first stage of profile building stage right next position we have for computer science that is max Planck institute for human development berlin research area is generative ai in a human machine society the duration is 3.5 year last date is first july it's a fully funded position prerequisite a very good undergraduate degree with minimum of 8 cgpa in the relevant research area and experience in related field or research is required next we have computer science engineering phd university of liverpool the research area is combinational combinatorial optimization and machine learning for crystal structure predictions duration is 3.5 year and last date is 30th of the june and scholarship yes it's a fully funded position and they have told prerequisite a very good undergraduate degree with minimum of ac gpa in computer science or related discipline good programming knowledge is required i have told you many times whenever you are applying for the computer science phd position which is based on the ai ml deep learning neural networks they at least required you have the basic programming hand right so guys before applying for this kind of the position get yourself accustomed with the basic programming knowledge as i told you in the beginning there are many portal right from where you can start learning next position we have for computer science again it's in the imperial college london the research area is circular cyber physical product as a service infrastructure duration is 3 to 3.5 year last date is 30th of the june yes it's a fully funded position and they have some prerequisite applicant must hold a master degree in computer science mathematical science design engineering electrical engineering data science machine learning or equivalent next position up we have for computer science last that is university of edinburgh the research area is efficient and reliable probabilistic machine learning duration is 3.5 year last it is 9th of july and yes it's a fully funded position and they have some prerequisite a bachelor or master degree in computer science or mathematics or physics with minimum of 8 cgpa in today's time if i talk about the indian education system we consider almost all the iit triple it's and nits and other central university so they are running very good branches under the mathematics department from where you can make really a good career in the artificial intelligence and data science be it in term of the computing, be it in term of the quantum computing, be it in term of the machine learning, be it in term of the signal processing and machine learning. There are, you know, many kind of the very innovative research work which is going with the many top international university. The point is if you hold some prior experience in these all tools and technology, you have done some domain project utilizing these all tool and technology and you want to enhance the work again to the next level in your PhD, you want to carry forward the same thing, then definitely you need to configure the list of the professor who are right now working in the same domain because you already have done some percentage of work related to his domain. Under such cases, if you make the list of some potential supervisor whose requirement is totally aligning with your past experiences, there are the chances of selection maximized. So that's what I always tell professor shortlisting is very, very important if you want to go for the PhD position. Next guys, up we have for the electrical engineering, university name is Cranfield University UK. The research area is AI based control system design and development for emission reduction in gas turbine engine. So it's not, uh, you know, very core electrical engineering, but if you have some knowledge on the control system, control engineering, mechatronics, robotics, then you might be suitable for this position. The duration is 3.5 year. There is professor named Dr. Soheli Jaffrey. So if you want to detail, if you want to know detail about this project, you can search the professor on LinkedIn. You can find the name of the university and see their department, the Dr. Soheli Jaffrey and see what kind of expectation she is holding from the candidate for this position and start making your document accordingly. Last date is 5th of July, it's 3.5 years, yes, it's a fully funded position. They have clearly asked 
मास्टर इन कंट्रोल इंजीनियरिंग मैकेट्रॉनिक सिस्टम इंजीनियरिंग एंड आई एज एव सिक्स पॉइंट फाइव इज रिक्वायर्ड नेक्स्ट पोजिशन फॉर इलेक्ट्रिकल इंजीनियरिंग इट्स विल द यूनिवर्सिटी ऑफ सक्स इंग्लैंड द रिसर्च एरिया इज द डेवलपमेंट ऑफ अ क्वांटम माइक्रोवेव सेंसर फॉर द न्यूट्रीनो मास मेजरमेंट अगेन द नेम ऑफ द प्रोफेसर इज द डॉक्टर जे एल वर्ल्ड इफ यू बिलीव यू हैव सम प्रायर एक्सपोजर प्रिलिमिनरी रिसर्च वर्क रिलेटेड टू दिस एरिया यू कैन कनेक्ट दिस प्रोफेसर डायरेक्टली ऑन द लिंक इन यू कैन चेक हिज प्रोफाइल ऑन द गूगल स्कॉलर यू कैन कनेक्ट हिम थ्रू ई मेल यू कैन शेयर यूर रिसर्च वर्क वॉट एवर यू हैव डन रिलेटेड टू दिस एरिया एंड आस्क हिम द परमिशन दैट यू आर रियली लुकिंग फॉरवर्ड टू वर्क अंडर हिज सुपरविजन फॉर द पी एच डी एंड स्टार्ट द कन्वर्सेशन लेट सी वॉट हैपन वॉट एवर इनपुट ही मे गिव यू वेदर ही आस्क यू फॉर अ फेवर वेदर ही आस्क यू दैट लेट्स हैव अ स्मॉल ब्रीफ इंट्रेक्शन रिलेटेड टू यूर वर्क एंड माई रिक्वायरमेंट if he is doing like this way that's a great thing that's opening the door for you people and if he tells you that there are some things missing in your profile i am not going ahead with your case then ask him for the feedback sir what are those things so that you can prepare your profile accordingly for the next coming position so these are the benefit of interaction with the professor guys right next it's a fully funded position last date is 31st of the august and prerequisite they have master in the microwave engineering most of the iit have this specialization rf rf and microwave master in communication intelligent communication system iit jodhpur have this branch and i'll score above 6.5 is required next position we have for electrical engineering phd that is university name technical university of denmark so research area is ultra fast laser and frequency com duration is 3.5 year to 4 year last date is 14th of the july it's a fully funded position and they have asked applicant should have qualified master degree in photonics optical communication communication with cgp 8.0 if you have mtech specialization ms in the photonics area and you believe your mtech thesis dissertation or research work is somewhere very close to this area and you are looking further to expand the same task or same work on the phd level that to in the international university this is one of the great opportunity guys right next up we have for the electrical engineering phd it's a very great opportunity and through dart scholarship you can find the funding for this it's a max planck school of photonics germany very renowned institutions now the research area here is fiber optics optical communication nano photonics duration is 3.5 to 4 year mostly 36 month they have the duration now last date is 1st december for intake in autumn of the following academic year see for germany most of the university you will get dart scholarship there is a dart portal there you can find the position as per your interest now what is the procedure they have asked some prerequisite valid gre score good command in subject or courses related to communication and master degree in optical communication or photonics is advantageous now they have asked the cv lor and they will take a basic math and physics test on the gre level but it will be more specific in the domain of the photonics next position we have for the electrical engineering phd technical university of the denmark the research area is nano engineer 2d tmds based quantum light source for optical quantum information technology the duration is 3.5 year last date is 15th of the june yes it's a fully funded position and applicant should have qualified master degree in photonics quantum technology information technology optical communication communication with cgp of the 8 So guys these were the position in this week newsletter edition if you believe any of these positions is somewhere aligning with your past mtech research experience or bachelor research experience research experience in term of the project btech project and mtech project or any kind of the jrf srf project associate experience you hold with the any of the prestigious institutions and you believe you want to go for that position and pursue phd with that abroad university then don't hesitate to connect the professor i have told you when you are connecting to professor how you need to write the email body in what way you need to write your document sop lor cv statement of uh, you know basically research basically your personal statement academic statement that all assistance you can get from the urpedia global mentors so you can approach our executive you can visit our website so a lot of detail is mentioned there so if you are looking forward for the international academic position in term of phd ms and pgd then you can knock the door of the urpedia global for any query or any assistant which is required at any stage of your application process so we wish you all the best for your academic journey thanks a lot